now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a company. The company doesn't have anything to do with the terminal. Basically, the company is selected within the terminal and it will show all the inventory items that go with your company. So what I want to do first is I want to go to setups, main system setups, company management, switch add delete companies. Now I'll just, as you can see here, there is a bunch of sample companies to delete those. You just select it, detail, edit, and delete it. And then yes. And what I want to do now is I just want to add a company and the folder name is the folder that's going to be on your hard drive so I'll just put like RT and I'll save that and then the actual display name on Plexus 29 POS I'll make my company called like restaurant and I'll save that now as you can see down here it appeared as a company name and it gave me my folder name now what I want to do is I want to log on to my company so I'm going to go to setups main system setups company management switch out delete companies what I want to do is I just want to double click on restaurant and now it's going to log me on on there and it's going to put it onto my terminal so my terminal company will be the one I just made and selected now I have to restart the application what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on POS and I'm going to log in on the one I made the terminal I made before so restaurant and I'm just going to log in on there now it's going to update that because it's a brand new terminal and now I'm going to go to setups again main system setups company setup management switch out to leave companies and make sure I'm logged in on restaurant the one I made so I'm just going to double click it and I am logged in on restaurant now what I want to do is I want to edit my company so I'm gonna to go to setups main system setups company management and edit selected company now what I want to do is I just want to click edit and then I'm gonna change all my company's information so I'll put in the company name I can put in the address I can put in the city I can put in the state province zip code aka postal code tax ID code the phone number fax number the restock percentage the SC percentage I can change everything it's just the one thing that you do not want to change is the phone number format which is already set for you and that you don't want to change or else it'll mess things up so now when you're done editing your company information you just go to company setup page 2 so it's the second tab and you select what kind of uh, what your company is if it's a retail you check retail if it's a restaurant check restaurant you can change your delivery sales you could track your, de your drivers your delivery sales too then you want to go to the third tab so company setup page number three and you can edit everything in there but I don't need to edit anything so I'm just gonna save it and I'm done setting up my company